update. As I'm sure you're aware, President Trump has extended the social distancing guidelines throughout the month of April. Uh, so we are going to continue to heed that advice, uh, heed the advice of our government officials, heed the advice of the medical professionals, and not gather together at least through the month of April. Uh, I know that pains you just like it pains me. Uh, I, I'm, I'm so thankful that we have the technology that we have, that we're able to live stream services and spend time in the Word together and in prayer together and singing together even as we're scattered. But I know it's not the same, and, it sh and it's not the same. It shouldn't feel the same. Uh, we, I, I'm praying that, the, that even though we have access to this technology, that it really just grows within us this longing to gather, this longing for the assembly, this longing to be back together again. In church, one day we will, and what a sweet day that will be when we're together again in this room, uh, singing praises, being able to hear one another sing and watch one another, see one another as we sit with our Bibles open under the preached word, speak to each other face to face, give each other a hug. I am looking forward to that day like I'm sure that you are. But throughout the month of April, we will not gather together. Uh, we will, though, continue to live stream our services every Sunday at 1045. You can find us on our on YouTube Live or Facebook Live, or you can go to our website. We'll actually have a link to those as well. Uh, on our website, we'll also have some resources that I think will be helpful to you and your family as you worship on our live stream. So we'll have a family worship or a, a worship guide that'll help your family kind of walk through the liturgy, uh, walk through our worship together. Uh, we'll have a, a handout on there for kids and for students that helps them uh, kind of think through the sermon. Uh, so make sure you just head over to our website before you go to our live stream and download those and print those off so you can have those together. So we will continue to live stream every Sunday at 1045. Uh, this also includes Easter Sunday. So I know we won't be gathering together uh, for Easter, which is really difficult to do, uh, but we will live stream a service again Sunday at 1045. We're also going to live stream a Good Friday service at 5 p.m. So 5 p.m. on Good Friday, we will live stream a service. So make sure you check us out on Facebook Live, uh, YouTube Live, and our website for those opportunities. Our community groups will also not gather together uh, throughout the month of April, we'll continue to do Zoom meetings. I know a lot of your groups are meeting that way. I love to see the pictures of you guys meeting. I love to hear the stories about how you're praying for one another, with one another, how you're spending time in the Word together, uh, how you're just uh, loving on each other, caring for one another. Uh, so our community groups will continue to do that. And that's really a huge way that we're caring for each other. So make sure you're plugged into a community group. If you're kind of a part of us, maybe on some Sundays, but you've never plugged into a community group, this is a great time to do it. We'll have a link at the bottom of this video that you can click on that'll get us some information and we'll connect with you about how you can get connected to one of our community groups. Our student ministry and kids ministry will continue to put out some midweek content online as well. Uh, also, I will be starting next week uh, with some online content that we'll do through in the middle of the part of the week. Uh, we're going to be looking at this idea of theology in exile and kind of thinking through uh, some of the theological issues, questions that come to mind in a time like this. Uh, like, what does it look like for us to have a peace in the midst of anxious times? Uh, what does it look like for Christians to lament? There's this strange language in the Bible that we don't often kind of engage with where the psalmist is crying out, how long, O Lord? And what does it look like for us to kind of trust the Lord in those times? What does Christian lament look like? We'll also talk about some things like what is the church? You know, kind of as it looks really different right now, it kind of brings us back down to some fundamental understandings of what the church is and how the church functions and what our mission is. And so we'll be kind of walking through those questions together in some midweek content that I'll be putting out online as well. So that's kind of Sundays, live streaming, going to be online Easter, Good Friday as well. So make sure you take a note of all those things and continue to invite your friends. It's been really neat to see some people that weren't connected to us and weren't connected to any church that are kind of tuning in with us on Sunday. So make sure you invite those people. That they might hear the good news that we have a risen King who reigns over all things, even in the midst of global pandemics. We have really good news for them. So that's kind of April, you know, kind of live streaming, kind of some uh, information about our calendar and what that'll look like for us. We also want to continue to care for each other well. Now our community groups are doing a great job of that. That's really a key spot for us to make sure that we know the needs in the body and are meeting the needs in our body. We want to love one another really well. So our community groups are, are a big part in how we're doing that. Our elders and deacons are also kind of working through our membership list 
and just making phone calls, touching base with you. I know some of you already gotten those. I've been really encouraged to hear the conversations that have been going on through those. We just want to know, is there any needs that you have? Is there any way that we can be praying for you? Uh, how can we help you out during this time uh, and just kind of shepherd you, even if it's over the phone, and make sure that you're well taken care of. We want to love the body well. So those are some of the ways that we're doing that. We also want to continue to stay on mission, uh, our mission to make much of God by making disciples of Jesus Christ among all peoples has not changed. We are still full steam ahead at making disciples. And so we're going to continue to do that. We want to resource you in some ways that help you as you're trying to you know, proclaim this good news that we have in Jesus with your neighbors, with the people that are around you, with your people, your friends on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or whatever. Uh, we have good news to share. So we want to help you to be able to do that. We also have, I think, a really cool idea that's going to help us just kind of flood social media uh, with the good news of the gospel around Easter. So you're going to hear something, uh, hear some more information about that coming out uh, really soon. We also are connected with some other church partners and Kaya Ministries, helping to meet a really tangible need in our community. There are about 600 families a month that we are helping to feed with these other partners. And so we are really thankful for you guys that have been bringing food by. We still have our food drop box area right by the front doors of the church there. Continue to bring those in. Each week we're taking those to a drop point and they're being distributed throughout our community with people that have real need to continue to be fed uh, it, throughout this kind of moment of crisis. And so it's one way that we're tangibly being the hands and feet and showing the compassionate care of our God is through feeding those that need food. So continue to bring that. It's one of the ways that we're staying on mission together as a church. Also, we've had some questions about giving. Uh, this is another time for us to, to do what we always say. We talk about in our gatherings that as we give, we do so as an act of worship, that we're showing in a real tangible, distinct way that Christ is our treasure and that we have a firm and stable trust in a heavenly father who cares for us as his children. Guys, there is no more distinct moment than this one for us to do just that. So let's continue to worship through our giving. I've been really encouraged and just so thankful for your generosity in these last few weeks. Let's keep going. Let's just consistently, sacrificially, generously give that we might fuel the mission we've been given and make much of Jesus. When the world is anxious about their goods, may they see us as a distinct people with open hands that are freely giving we might love one another, love our city, and love the nations as we take the gospel there. So in, the, uh, in a few days, I'm going to be sending out a video that kind of helps walk through the process for connecting to our online giving. We've had some questions about that. If that's still not your thing, that's okay. Uh, but I'll be shooting a video kind of walking you through step by step what it looks like to sign up, register for our online giving. That might be helpful to some of you. I know we've had some questions about that uh, that have come to us. So those are some things just kind of happening through April. Wanted to give you a quick update on what we had going on. I love you, church. Cannot wait to get back together with you. Hope you have a great rest of your week.